keep Passover now because we are under this uh, restriction of um, staying in our homes and we can't come out and physically fellowship. And a sister that I fellowship with brought this to our attention. When you go back and read the book of Exodus, where were the first Passover kept my brothers and sisters? In their homes. Okay? <laughs> so, you know, during, during this time of judgment, you know, we see the plague of the coronavirus upon the earth. We can see that um, it's kind of like the same thing. We're kind of stuck in our home. And we're under the commandment, Israelites and Gentiles, to keep these holy days in all our dwellings. Okay? So, we can still keep it. And also, I want to bring this to your attention. Remember, in the second month, there is a make of Passover. So, hopefully, these restrictions um, that we're going through and staying at home, hopefully, by that time, I hope, hopefully, we can come and fellowship physically. Okay? So, remember that as well. So, the title of this video is, What to Do for Passover in a Time of the Coronavirus. Okay? Now, first for the announcement, please check the video description box because Yahuwah has spoken himself, given us instructions, Israelites and Gentiles on what to do and what season we're in. And we can see the signs of definitely being manifested in the heaven and earth. Please read that. Also, um, I do want to share a special book that I have been reading in my spare time. And this is the, um, the Gospel of the Beloved Companion. The Complete Gospel of Mary Magdalene. Now, the author, I don't want to, I can't say her name because I don't want to mispronounce it. But she definitely put her life online and she put her community life online. Please read the preference when you get this book and you'll see what I'm talking about. For we are in the fourth beast kingdom, the fourth beast Rome. And they have suppressed, let me read this book, but many truths. And this is one of the truths they have suppressed. And when you read the book, you begin to learn why they call Mary Magdalene many negative names, okay? But the Bible tells you who she is. Magdalene means the, the companion. And she is a disciple of the Messiah. Yes, remember the women follow the Messiah, follow the Messiah too. You can show how much she is. And he has shown her many spiritual mysteries, okay? She, too, has written a gospel, a testimony about her walk with the Messiah. And you have to be under the Spirit to understand what the Messiah told her, because when I read it, I, I understood it immediately, what it was about. But she was the one, okay, let me first let you know who she is. She is the sister of Martha and of Lazarus. And remember, Lazarus was the one that the Messiah resurrected from the dead before he was crucified. But Mary Magdalene did a, a great work unto him, or a good work unto the Messiah. She was the one who anointed the Messiah before his crucifixion. So this is a great book to read in your spare time, okay? Now, I just recently put out a video for the Christians. So if you have any Christian friends, please share that video on to them about Easter. I found another ancient book. Well, not ancient book, but an old book, my brothers and sisters. And it's a European giving the truth about Easter. Okay? So, also share that video too. That's on the channel as well. All right. Now, back to the topic. So, Israelites and Gentiles, or I'll also say, let me give you correct myself. Hebrews, for those who call themselves Hebrews, Israelites, or Gentiles. Okay? What are we going to do in this time of the coronavirus for keeping the Passover? Now, when you come in the whole volume of book, a lot of your leaders are keeping y'all in the old and not in the new. You might say, what are you talking about, Sister Mary? <laughs> the Pharisees, Sadducees, and Herodians of the day are not following the Messiah instructions. So you have to be born of the water and the spirit to understand the season or the time that we're in there. Okay? So if I say, well, what do you mean? This is what I mean. The Messiah is the Passover. If you have read the Bible and other books, such as the book of Nicodemus, Nicodemus, the high priest of Israel, his book is often called the book of uh, the Acts of Pontius Pilate. If you read that book, you begin to understand why the Messiah is the Passover. 
Really, look at the word Passover. I'm going to go to this book. This book was written by a European in the 1700s. He, um, I'll let you see the title page. Crudus, Complete Cordius in the Old and New Testament by Anzati Crudus, A.M. He written this book in 1737. But I'm just going to go to the meaning of Passover because when you look at the word Passover, let's see if I can find it. Here we go. It says here, this word comes from the Hebrew verb for shop, which signifies to pass, to leap, or skip over. Now, this is all I'm going to read right here. I'm going to stop there. Okay, I'm going to pause this so y'all can look at the rest of this. Okay. Now, what did the Messiah, the Messiah is the Passover, because we can understand the Passover in the, on the book of Exodus, okay? Because we know what the destroyer passed over the Israelites, because they had put the blood of the lamb upon the doorpost.